I saw your case study about AI clusters as a service. Can you recap what that's about and what problem you were solving for the customer? It really is a stunning study overall in just how expensive the AI infrastructure is and how complex it, it is. So what, what we did, we got pulled in to help a major service provider who is offering an internal training clusters as a service offering internally. And they have a demand to allow individual teams inside their organization to have access to a 64 machine training cluster. Those are, it's a quarter billion dollar overall investment for these, these machines. Incredibly complex networking and storage configuration. And they need those to be offered as a service. So that means that somebody is going to use those, run a training job. They have to certifiably, uh, clean the system so no data is left, so there's no chance of leaking data between training runs, and then reset it and turn it back over to the next customer. That's the that's the use case. And they have they have hundreds of these clusters being built. They're building even more um, footprint and capacity over the next next year. And we were able to get the reset time using digital rebar down to 90 minutes. So that's a complete scrub of the system, wipe all the disks, make sure that everything is completely cleaned up, apply whatever patches are necessary to the systems, rebuild all the networking topology and configuration, set all of the configuration and BIOS. So they not only do a reset, they also clean, patch, and update the systems. Since each machine is incredibly specific to its location in this fabric network, you have to put it exactly back into the right fabric, even after you've patched the NICs. Then reapply the operating systems. They'll build Kubernetes clusters internally, and that gets handed back over to these teams. So the entire reset time takes 90 minutes to do. It's absolutely jawbreaking. If it takes, if it, you know, before doing this manually, we've seen uh, a week is usually the best operation, even with uh, some a, a degree of do-it-yourself automation. Uh, it's $150,000 of idle time just in depreciation of the gear, not even to mention the lost ROI, what you're not doing with those systems, right? The power that they're burning and the fact that you would need more clusters to support the teams with that type of reset time. So a 90 minute reset times gets you back in the, basically the time it takes to rebuild a Kubernetes cluster on the cloud. Um, we're actually turning over these whole AI systems. So incredibly uh, powerful story about just how effectively with the right automation, you can deliver AI systems. Racken works with customers who are dealing with much more complex operations. But if we just look at AI, what makes AI operations so uniquely challenging compared to traditional DevOps or cloud native workloads? One of the funny things I, I think you know, my, my CTO, Greg Altas, would tell you there isn't anything particularly unique about AI operations. It's important to note, right, these, this customer is using digital rebar pretty much out of the box. They've added some capabilities, which, which all of our customers do, but they're using our standard pipelines. So fundamentally, what they're doing is bare metal operations. The thing that makes AI really harder is there is a much more complex networking topology. You have a hybrid of InfiniBand, fiber channel, Ethernet networking all mixed together and how these systems work. And the network topology itself is much more sensitive. So in these training clusters, like in any AI training cluster, there's a lot of peer-to-peer uh, -peer traffic and there's a configuration in the networking where you're talking um, with redundant switches, redundant connections. You've got a NIC that has to be patched on a regular basis. You have systems that have incredibly compact complex and demanding BIOS demands. All of those things are true in any systems we deal with. But in the AI infrastructure, with the incredible pressure on the cost of the machine and the demand for the actual server to be in production, those things are amplified in an AI system. They're not actually that different than what we deal with on a regular AI basis. You, know, you and I talked about a process where we do a clean wipe and reset to allow systems to be decommissioned automatically. All of those technologies are really built into the product. And so they're, they're normal processes. The pressure and the price are things that are really higher. And is it more about scale, unpredictability, type of hardware, data pipeline, privacy, compliance? What makes these workloads different? 
<laughs> That's one of the things that makes AI hard. It's about all of those things. You you don't get a break here, right? The the AI builders and the pace at which we're building AI clusters, right? The other thing that's really notable is that this customer is able to onboard gear in four hours. So they get new clusters shipped. They're able to get them completely qualified, tested, burned in, and validated and ready to go in just four hours. That in itself is also groundbreaking. That means that they're not wasting time getting systems racked. They're not worried, right? They get delivered racks. Everything's pre-integrated. Once they turn on that gear, it's ready to go. That type of aggressive go-to-market is also the hallmark of these AI companies. They're trying to compress time so much because they're paying, you know, they're buying the gear. You can't afford to let that gear sit idle and things are moving so quickly, it's a competitive advantage. So every minute you have where the systems are in use, that becomes tremendously powerful. It's the same thing that we're seeing with any of the neo clouds or this, this new generation of AI service providers. You know, going from having a GPU offering, oh, I can give you a GPU and it's gonna take me a week or I'm gonna have to have spare capacity. That's really unacceptable, right? This is, this isn't, you know, it's funny. There's so many dimensions here. It's just a capacity problem. If, if you have clusters that are going to have a two week cluster training time, but you have to spend another week setting that up, that's a 50%. You need, you need 50% more capacity to offer the same capability. So, you know, there's tremendous components um, in cost and management and governance. Um, the patch levels, the rate things are changing all higher, um, you know, but it, it's the same thing, just just faster.